article called Kingdom of Golf Carts appeared in Bloomberg go as such with about 9,300 golf carts registered among its 13,000 households. This town, 31 miles southwest of Atlanta, might be the most golf cart friendly municipality in America. A hundred miles of car free multi-use paths crisscross the town's 25 square miles and many shopping centers and public buildings provide dedicated golf cart parking. A cartoon of one of the little vehicles appears on the town's official logo. I mean, aren't golf courses notoriously bad for the environment? Golf courses, yes. Golf carts, well, the jury's still out on that. Are well, they I bad? Mean, I assume they're, they're I assume not they're as bad electric. As- I assume they're electric golf carts. They're electric vehicles. They okay. are EVs. That's and what we're talking about here. So when you say golf carts, because I think this is important for everyone to know, okay. you are not associating it necessarily with golf courses. courses. No. There's a lot of golf cars, c- golf carts. This is going to be a tough episode. There's going to be a lot of golf <laughs> carts in this town. But that does That's not correct. mean that there are a lot of golf courses. That's not why there are that many golf That's carts. That's correct. Well, we'll get to that. Yeah. Well, we will explain a little bit more of that. So a l- more context to this. Okay. There are other U.S. cities that embrace golf carts as transportation, such as Villages, uh, which is a uh, 55 and older development of 80,000 people in Florida that has about 90 miles of multi-use paths. Uh There are newer so-called golf cart communities in the U.S., such as Sun City, Arizona, Palm Desert, California, that allow carts and cars to mingle on low-speed public roads. But Peach Tree City, that's right, Peach Tree City, Georgia, stands alone as an all-ages suburb where golf carts are intrinsic to local life. What is the age that you have to be to drive a golf cart? Do you know? I do know. Oh, I do know because I because I you know this, this I researched. You're welcome for that segue. <laughs> I, I researched on this article. <laughs> like I'll skip ahead. I wasn't even going to get to that one, but I, anyone 16 or older can legally drive one, regardless of whether they have a driver's license, as well as 15 year olds with learner's permits. Children can drive with an adult in a front seat with them once they turn 12. Yeah, now, I thought so. I thought just don't know the rules. Yeah, on the road. Well, this is this is well. In the 1970s, Georgia passed legislation exempting golf carts from state motor vehicle laws, empowering local jurisdictions to establish their own laws. So the laws I just read are specific to Peachtree City and the county uh, that they happen to reside. I mean, I can only imagine that that is supposed to be if golf carts are off of the roads used in a recreational sense in a controlled setting away from roads that doesn't because they're clearly not able to sustain damage uh they don't even have doors well like like i said i mean we i i referenced a couple of cities that allow them on uh low speed roads so i mean that's again you know that's up to the speed of the road apparently that's legal in other states such as arizona and california but they and, sh- can another car, can a can a, a normal car drive on this low speed road? And the multi use roads. So low speed road, yes. Uh, the multi use roads that we're talking about in Peachtree City specifically are uh, car exclusionary, I believe. At least, but majority are. So there might be some that do commingle. So don't don't uh, get at me if anyone's from Peachtree City listening to this. Yes, I accept. There probably are roads that are commingled, but there are also a wide swath of just spe- golf car specific pathways in this city. That's what makes it very unique. <laughs> Define low speed road. What's the- why? Why are you doing this to me? I All know right, a lot. Ahead, you know, go. I you thought go. I had you every go. question you that you could you come go. up with, and then now you've asked. I, you're right. I didn't look up what a low speed road is. I was. I mean, because I'm trying like to imagine a, a 12 road. year old going 30 miles an hour with no doors. That's no not a low speed. Belt. All right, that is not a low speed road. You're right. Is it they like did, five? It is specified. It is specified. Okay, I'm assuming that it is a low. It, the low a low speed road would be <laughs> the same speed that is allowed for a school zone. That's what. That's how I would compartmentalize that and so i would say it's around 15 miles an hour to 25 miles an hour that's what i would assume is supposed to be a low speed road but you let me know if the federal government has a just dis- like an actual distinction for what is can be called a low speed road that i just did not was not aware of okay i'm gonna let you know you let me know 
You let me go. I'm on, I'm on Georgia's government website <laughs> right know, now. Okay, you let me know what they think is a, a peach tree. Uh, a maximum uh, speed of 20 miles per hour. There we go. Good. Good Good for listeners. So I said 25, so I was five above. So a low speed road is anything below. I can't believe that's an official designation by the federal government as to low speed road. That's cool. Yeah, Georgia code, low speed vehicles. Okay. Okay, so peach 